Hey guys, this is Hong Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I invite the beautiful Fernando <laughs> Casablancas here. He lent me his canvas to create this sultry, brown, smoky eye makeup look for you. I hope you enjoy the video. Always give the channel a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumb up, share them. And don't forget to follow both Fernando and myself and my team on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. The first product I use is the Laneige Lip Balm. This is one of my go-to lip balm I use under makeup. This is a great to use at night before you go to bed because it's very hydrating. It does have a little sheen, so you can always blot it down. The second product I'm using is the eye cream, the Youth Eye Complex from IS Clinical. This is also another of my favorite. I love it. Always very gentle around the eye area. As you can see that Fernando has beautiful skin. He loves skincare and the serum. I also use from IS Clinical. It is the Hydrocool Serum. This is a great serum to apply under makeup. It helps to calm all the redness and really hydrating. The best way to apply the serum is just press into the skin like this. Whatever left over, you can put on the neck, the chest as well. And the moisturizer is the Repetitive Moisture Emotion, also from IS Clinical. This is a really beautiful moisturizer you can use for under makeup. By the way, none of these products are sponsored. And when I say, you know, I love them and everything, I truly do. I have them in my makeup kit. And to be honest, even if when a brand sponsor a video, if I don't love the product, I won't use them. So keep in mind, a lot of you guys always ask me like, to tell you what is my favorite. That's the way I am is that if it's, I don't love them, I won't use them. Doesn't matter if it's sponsored or not. But these are not sponsored and it's quite a beautiful moisturizer. It does give you that glow, which is beautiful. I also love to use a facial tune. This is like device for depuffing and stimulating in the morning. I think this has been around for a long time. A lot of people like to use the hand to massage, which I normally do. But if you can use a tune like this, you can. Fernando doesn't need to do any depuffing at all, but <laughs> for each video, I like to view some of the tunes or anything that I would normally do. And that way you can try them or you can have at home. You see the way I do, it's just like this one I do a little bit around the cheekbone too. And you can only do on the top of the head to re release all the tension. And you can always do it around this area here. For color corrector, I'm going to use from NARS the foundation and concealer I'm using from Sashado. The reason I'm using two different shades of concealer is that the lighter concealer I'm using mainly under the eye area, a little here to bring out all the highlight part. And then the darker concealer is almost exactly the same shade as the foundation. So I can pinpoint wherever I want to pinpoint. Fernando have beautiful skin. The only part is that 
but now I have a little dark shadow mm -hmm. here. But sometimes people look at this and they think, oh my God, we have to cover concealer, but you don't have to. That's why you use a color corrector first. Mm -hmm. And I put a little bit of corrector in the here and it just brighten them. Like for someone who don't want to wear concealer or foundation, this is really what all you need to wear. Just a little color corrector and it brighten the area. Fernando, you normally wear much makeup at all? You know, I love wearing makeup when it comes to like feeling a fantasy, you know? Yeah. Day to day, I try to keep it more like skincare and a yeah. little bit of eye here and there. Yeah. But um, when it comes to like feeling the fantasy, I love like a full beat. Okay. <laughs> I love that when you come in today and you was like, oh, make sure that I really hydrate my skin and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, I, was I like, mean, don't worry. <laughs> when you're modeling, you have to know your skin, you know, yeah. because I feel like you have to know what you're bringing. And I always have my little spiel. I always know like, as long as I'm super hydrated, the makeup will last. Yeah. Or else I know my skin, it'll yeah. flake off and you know, and that's, that's why my, my channel, we always, really a skincare focus mm -hmm. we really talk about how to prep the skin it's super important it's almost like half the makeup look is exactly skin. exactly so how did you start modeling well um i was scouted off of instagram by a few of my agents now uh -huh. and um i'm an actor i'm a performer so i was like here in new york going to school yeah and um once i graduated from nyu I uh, just started doing some shoots and meeting people and like shooting with my friends and yeah. then all of a sudden um, I started really taking it seriously yeah. after I had some more time and working out and all that and then it all just sort of like came about. <laughs> I love Beautiful. I love that you do a lot of beauty campaign as well, mm -hmm. you know, because I think it's that like you my are, favorite, yeah. honestly. I think you're a perfect representation of like, you know, someone who love makeup doesn't matter what gender you are exactly and you still can wear makeup and truly representing that yeah. and i've always thought that it's like really important to just like wear the makeup that fits with your identity yeah. you know like i think that it's i've been really lucky to work with a few brands that like really understand that yeah. you don't have to be anything to wear makeup it's all about exactly. like your choice yeah because even myself like today you can see my face like <laughs> i have like pretty full-on makeup a lot of you always good <laughs> a, lot of people, a lot of people always say oh my god your skin always look great i say no i do have a lot of pigmentation melasma and yeah me too i have very mixed skin yeah. and it's like no one's perfect you know i mean yeah. perfection is like a concept yeah but when it comes down to it makeup really does like help you feel yourself and enhance the parts of you that you want to like yeah. really like put forward so yeah. i feel like makeup is really liberating in a lot of ways yeah. as you guys can see fernando's skin is really beautiful i just put a little bit foundation and it sits even everything out and because very well prepped very hydrating the makeup go on so smoothly and keep that in mind that we just say about skincare prep is so important because you and your skin dry it's not well uh, prep you would never have the foundation go smooth like this doesn't matter how expensive or mm -hmm. how amazing the foundation is the skin have to prep really well first so next i'm going to go to the concealer you see that the two shade i use the light one I use mainly on the eye area. As I mentioned earlier, the skin, you need to prep really well, like Fernando's skin right now. I mean, it takes the makeup really well because he does take care of the skin, he does prep the skin. What do you think when makeup, when you wear them, do you on really well, no? Yeah, I mean, it's really all about like what you do before so that yeah. it sits on your face yeah but i always think it's super important for you to wear the makeup and mm -hmm. the makeup to not to wear you exactly. because yeah. uh you know you have to understand that it's like supposed to be a part of your face you know yeah. it's like you're adding dimension you're adding color you're adding textures and all of those should be complementing the face you know yeah. it shouldn't be about the makeup it should be about you yeah and i think the thing is that like just 
for me, I always say in my channel, and I think like you all heard me say many times before, when I do something, I never say that everyone have to do the way I do. Mm -hmm. You know, just do yeah, their own skin, do you know? do what works for you. You know, if you need to stop right there, you can. If you don't want to do three layer of certain thing, you can. Mm -hmm. And you know, like it's just like on each person is different. So that's why for me, as much I show every single step. But you can stop anywhere, and and I remember I read one of the comments on uh, one of the video. The talent said that each step is a look by itself already, which you totally. love, and it should be like that because you know not everyone will wear foundation concealer. You can just wear color corrector. You can stop right there if that's where you are. If the person want to wear a ten layer foundation, then let them do it because you know. I know some, yeah. I know some people. They feel so good when they have the makeup on, you know. Yeah. And 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 some people they would wear very little. And that's all they need, and that's how they feel comfortable. And you know, it's makeup about you know. I I say like makeup is very personal, super yeah. personal, yeah. and it depends. And it's all about like. Checking in with yourself on that day. I feel like some days you want to wear the full foundation and yeah. eyes and lashes and everything. Yeah. And other days I just want like a little lip balm and that's enough, you know. And I feel glam, you know. It's really about what you feel. Exactly. Oh my God! You should come to the channel often. Because you, you're <laughs> Baby, as long as you have me, I'll be here. I love the sun and stuff. Like I love makeup. It's yeah. just like such an art form. And professionals like you who yeah, really understand you. are really important in this world. Thank you. <laughs> As you can see right now, I just use a little blending brush and I just do pinpoint where I want to cover, which is not really anywhere. But I'm a makeup artist. Sometimes I just like yeah. see detail that's yeah, people that not, detail right there, not right <laughs> normal people eye. They don't even <laughs> see it, but I still see them. So I. I I want to. A lot of time when I would try to pinpoint, and everyone say, "What do you pinpoint?" There's nothing to, you know, her skinny mm -hmm. flawless. But sometimes the light blow out. Yeah. And I'm so used to do like red carpet and everything that I just want every single detail, like make sure taken care. So that's what I mean by pinpoint for. For contour, I'm going to use Tantour from Huda Beauty. This is more like a cream bronzer. I use them as a contour. Um, like I say, I'm going to give Fernando the full treatment. You better. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're having fun right now. Like I don't want to watch those comments say why he, you know he doesn't need contour and all those kind of things. We all know that. I don't think like makeup <laughs> makeup is not a need. You know we do things because we, we want, want to do it. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's about having fun. I mean, I get that all the time. I mean, I've done campaigns now for yeah. Charlotte Tilbury and a few others that haven't yeah. come out yet. And every time, there's always that person that's gonna be saying like, "Why is that man wearing makeup?" or "Why does he have foundation on?" or lipstick or eyeshadow or whatever. Yeah. And people are gonna stay mad, but it's like I'm living. I'm having the best time when I'm wearing makeup. I'm like feeling the fantasy, and so, you know. I'm thankful. Thanks for giving me the full treatment. <laughs> But I think it's like I think it's just like you playing character. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. I mean, you're an actor yourself, so That's of course, like, of it's the job. best part. Yeah. It's like really getting to embody a character, getting to like live a just like a life that. Yeah. You know, I'm not like this every single day, yeah. but like in the days that I am, I get to really yeah enjoy it. You know. Great. I love to hear that. So. Like I say, not everyone would do what I'm doing right now. Not everyone gonna contour, but if you do, this is a great product to you because it's more like a cream bronzer, so it's blend really easy. You see that, and I find that it's better than to a lot of time you use the contour stick and you do right on the face like this. It takes you more time to blend for sure. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can do the stick on your hand and you use this. You blend it out. Trick. It's a lot easier than just go direct on the face because that way it's easy to blend. Because some formulation, uh, if the skin too dry, it drag the skin too much. So it's better not to do that. So mm. you can do a little bit on your hand first like this, and then you use the brush and you just blend in them easier. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So you can see that even this contour, I still like everything very blended, very subtle. Maybe a little bit here around the nose, just soften. For now, I have beautiful nose. I'm not gonna do that whole nose contour, 
but just a little bronzer here. I think it just really framed the face really well. For setting, I'm using the new Lourdes Mercier Translucent Powder. This is the Ultra Blur Powder. It's quite beautiful. I'm doing under the eye area. And then I do the rest of the face as well. I'm gonna keep the skin pretty matte for this look because I think it's nice. And then a little bit on the eyelid area as well. You can see that I always use two different brush. You know, certain area I use the smaller one because it's easier. In certain area I use the bigger one. So anywhere you want to be matte more, you can matte more. I usually matte more just around here and the T-zone. The rest of them, I leave the skin quite natural. This is quite a beautiful powder. It's a new powder they have. It's quite blurry, which I love. Next product I'm going to use is the bronzer. This is a limited edition from Chanel, so I'm not sure you still get them. But it's a similar bronzer they have already, a different packaging. And I'm going to use a brush and basically I'm just going to set where I did the contour earlier. You don't have to do the same way I do. I know I say in every video. So Fernando, when did you get into uh, your first introduction to makeup? My first first introduction, I was probably like eight or nine years old. Wow. And I would go to my best friend's house and like Makeup was very forbidden for mm -hmm. me because I grew up with a very conservative Brazilian family, actually. Yeah. But uh, first, she like just literally she just concealed a few freckles because mm -hmm. I was eight, so yeah. there was nothing to change in my face, and I felt so sexy. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe the power of makeup. <laughs> but then um, I moved to New York when yeah. I was seventeen, and I needed to find a way of like expressing myself. And I found makeup and drag, actually. I started doing drag wow. when I first moved here. And so you so, are very good at doing your makeup then. Yeah, I mean, I have some practice yeah. and, I, and I have some understanding. So when I go, and honestly, my favorite part about working is like getting all these like new tips and stuff that I can use on my free yeah. time. But you understand that even like the makeup today, I'm doing like full on makeup, but my full on makeup is still not as heavy as mm -hmm. like how you would do your oh, drag. Oh, for drag, it's totally different. Yeah. It's a whole, it's an art form, you know, you yeah. have to, it's like, it's like you're painting on your, your personality, you know, yeah. it's like you're putting on your full, um, just like persona through the makeup, the hair, the styling, everything. But for me, the makeup was really like liberating and I found ways of expressing myself and I was in art school. So I was doing lots of school projects involving like drag and all this stuff. So it was really like a moment of like discovering myself. And, and that's amazing and to hear. That's the power of makeup. <laughs> for eyebrow, I'm going to use two products from Anastasia Beverly Hill. This is the Brow Wiz and this is the Brow Frizz. Fernando have beautiful eyebrow, like he doesn't need anything at all. I'm just gonna extend it a little bit longer here and because I just want a bit more like a long feline eye like this on top of that. So I think a little bit longer eyebrow is nice. And then just a brown gel. So that's all I'm gonna do. To start, I'm not gonna touch anywhere else. I think the eyebrow is really beautiful. And I'm just gonna do a little bit in the outer part here. Maybe just lift it a tiny bit there, but not changing too much. And the same thing on this side. You see that there's a little gap there, so I'm just gonna fill it in, and I'm not touching it anywhere else at all. And I think that's what about makeup is. You know, just do where you need, or you don't have to. Not everyone need like a full like triangle filled in eyebrow. If Fernando eyebrow beautiful like this, just work with that and then leave the rest of them out, whatever you need to fill in, but don't have to change the whole eyebrow. Because if we do a really smoky eye and too much eyebrow, too much eye, and become so close to the eye, so I think leave the eyebrow somewhat natural is beautiful as well. 
and then use just a little bit of this. Remember, just use very gentle hands, so you don't have to put too much product in there. And then you just gel the eyebrow up. And you're gonna keep the eyebrow in place. For eye, I'm going to use these five products. I know it sounds a lot. You don't have to use five products if you don't want to. Eye primer, this one is from Rare Beauty. I like this eye primer if you want to prime the eye really well for long lasting. And you know, sometimes eye primer, whether too sheer or too thick, this is a great medium in between one for you. I'm gonna use some cream shadow, brown color long wear pencil and mascara and then this color of eyeshadow palette remember that you don't have to use all the product i use you can use just the cream shadow and the liner you still can able to achieve the look because i work in fashion i work on celebrity red carpet so for me when i built the look like this i like everything to be more long lasting so if you the type of person who want to wear makeup long lasting you should prime you should do a base with the cream and then you set with a powder eyeshadow that way it's lock in it stay there if you don't pram you just use just a cream shadow it's okay or you could use just like the powder shadow you can but sometimes it's creased a little bit to start i'm using a little bit of the eyeshadow primer close your eye for me And if you use the cream shadow, maybe you can skip the eyeshadow primer so it can work as a primer as well. It's just because the cream eyeshadow I use mainly on this part, not the whole eye. So that's why I use the eyeshadow primer as well. So you don't have to do all the steps like I do. I'm going to use the cream shadow. Close your eye for me. And I do all over the crease area here not all the way up just mainly on the the crease here and i'm trying to do the application really straightforward pretty easy so you can able to duplicate at home and you can see that this is a long wear shadow is gonna last for you you're gonna stay there and Charlotte Cream Shadow, she has many different shades, mm. so you can actually use them, you know, many different colors that you want to. And just use this very basic, like a taupey brown color. I feel like Charlotte always has really good texture when it comes yes. to her products. It is, yeah. And even as you're applying now, it feels so smooth and like yeah. doesn't feel chunky in any way, you know? Because sometimes, even the texture is beautiful because sometimes the texture and it's very separated because it's it not enough plump. pigment, yeah, yeah. All those, but this is quite nice. Yeah, look up for me a little bit. And I do a little bit on the lower lash line as well. And you can see that I use more this kind of brush. So you can get exactly where you deposit the color. Your fluffy brush is get everywhere sometimes. You use that for blending, but for this, for deposit, the better you use the, the brush like this. But then again, just you what works for you. Let's see. You see, just like that, I think it's nice. And you should put, you know, mascara, you can go. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm not going to stop from there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the eye in the waterline. The liner, sorry, in the waterline. And then look down for me. And I do a little bit on the inside the upper waterline as well. Next, use the same liner. I'm gonna smudge it out even more. So the whole idea, like I'm gonna create a lot of depth 
on the lash line. Drama. Drama. And you can use the blending brush like this, and you blend it out. So this part and the next part, when I use all the shadow, that's when you really want how the shape of the, the eye look. You want to pull out more, or you up, or just keep it like that. It's really up to you. It's all depend how you're gonna do the shadow. You Changes see, just the whole shape of the shape. shape, yeah. You see what I'm doing right now? I just really just smudge it out on the top. It doesn't have to be too perfect. And then do the same on this side. Let's see, you see that just really mainly on the top. I smudge it out. I'm doing a little bit on the bottom here as well and I smudge it out. I'm gonna make the eye look a little more longer and a little more like almond, I should say. Like I said, this part, you just wanna finesse the look. You wanna see how the eyeshadow, you wanna go really exaggerate out. You can start from this part. I just will land a little more here. Let's see. I mean, this is like perfect, like that's ready to go. You don't have to do anything else at all. So next, I'm going to use this palette and the shade I'm going to use is these three shades here. So this shade, I feel like almost the same as the other shades and I'm just gonna set it. You see, I'm gonna put the shades here just to really smudge it out, smoke it out. Do the same on this side. Same shades I do on the lower lash line as well. A little bit here. On that side as well. Next, I'm using the little bit lighter shades. I'm doing this inner part. And I drag it down a little more. Just make it really smoky. And then this also the shade that I'm gonna use to blend out the edges. Close your eye for me. And the inner part here. And I use this as a blending transition color on the edges area here. and really pour it out a little bit here. Same on the other side. So it's up to you how much further in you go with the color and how much further out. Look up for me. Some people maybe they don't want to go that further in and they start put the highlight in it's up to you what i'm going to do next i use the lighter color instead use the highlight i put a little bit right here i think it's just really too bright the eye area out it's not really change anything much just really just brightness in there and i use the light color as well close your eye and i do a little bit on the brow bone. This is a very, very old school way to do it. And so I'm gonna, not gonna do too much. Sometimes if you do this and you use the shimmering color, it looks a little not chic to me. <laughs> so I think it's better just use a matte color if you're gonna do this, what, what you're doing right now. And then you still gonna use the other brush and just blend out the edge of it. And then this is to me, it's like so simple and classic look what you're doing for this look right now but i think it's always going to be beautiful i go and do the same on this side here just a little bit the brown bone effort and then you use the other brush you blend out the edges again i always curl the lashes it's just personal preference but i think it does help to lift the eye as well. Some people just start mascara without curling, but for me, even a little pinch make a big difference. And for the mascara, this is a beautiful mascara, by the way. I'm gonna use two coats on the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes. I keep that mascara in my bag ah, same all the one. time. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, 
So let's just really coat it on here. Down. So I got my fingernail here. Mascara is done. I think I'm gonna use this color and I'm gonna smoke the lower part even more. I think it's keep it really beautiful, some sultry more. Again, this is really personal preference. You don't have to go all the way down here. A lot of you would like clean on the bottom there. So it's up to you. And I'm gonna use that blending brush earlier. I got a color and I do a little more on the depth here. See, I like that you're going down there because mm -hmm. obviously I love a glam moment, but mm -hmm. I like when it's a little bit grunge. Yeah, exactly. So it gives a little bit more dirtiness to it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and close your eye for me and then you just really smudge that edge it out because sometimes like I find that sometimes that we try to make it really clean on the edges it actually close the eye when you do this it actually makes the eye look so sultry and you don't know where the shadow end shadow start mm. the eye is finished if you like to darker as much as it's all personal preference but for me i think this is gorgeous this is like a smoky 90-ish and i think it's beautiful for the blush i'm going to use this blush color from gucci beauty this is the color i'm using this beautiful blush texture by the way i love them i think it's so nice it's so sheer but it's how do i say it's light and pigmented at the same time so it's it have a lot of color but it doesn't lay on top too much, which I love. You can see that you can have a lot of pigment, but the skin doesn't look heavy when you use them. And they have six different shades, but this is the shade I'm using. This is the most like mauve neutral. The other one, they have more pink, they have deeper, they have coral. So you can use any shade you like, but I think this is very beautiful on Fernando. A little bit on the top here. And I think I'm gonna keep a lot of blush. I think it's really, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and the same on this side here. For highlighter, I'm going to use this highlighter from Tom Ford Beauty. And this is the shade I'm using with a fan brush. And turn this way, and I go very subtle. And I think when you do with a fan brush, you can go very light-handed or and you have more control. A little bit of everywhere. You see a little bit right there. And then a little bit right here. For lips, I'm going to use these two lip products. This is a lip liner from Rare Beauty. And this liquid lips, but it's more like a creamy and have a little sheen. It's from Paul and Joe. To start, I'm gonna outline the lip a little bit. But as you can see, the lip liner, I purposely chose them a little bit darker than the lipstick. And it's just personal preference. It's up to you. You don't have to use the same as well. You can use the same shade of lip liner as well. I'm going to overdraw the upper lips a tiny bit. Slightly smile for me. And then, see it in the bottom here. Slightly smile more. Yeah. After you do that, I use a small blending brush. You see this one I'm doing right now. I just soften the edge it out. So it doesn't have a harsh line, the dark lip liner, and then a light lipstick. So this is the best way to do. Obviously, I'm using a long wear lip liner, so you have to do really fast before it set. But if you use a cold pencil, it's much be easier. Smile for me. And you see, I just blend it out. And that way, the line look a lot softer and not too heavy.
you see I just blend it out and it look pretty soft and then you can apply the lipstick after smile for me so this is like liquid lipstick but they are have sheen as well so it is long lasting it's not matte I think this lip color is so beautiful. It's nude, but have a hint of like pinky tone and mauve tone in here. I think it's gorgeous. It's not flat, I mean. To complete the look, I'm going to set the makeup with a matte setting spray from One Side Beauty. That's the final look, guy. Thank you, Fernando, so much. Thank you for, for having me. Coming on the channel. And I hope you enjoyed the video. You may learn something from the video, a little tip here and there, or not. If not, you just enjoy the entertainment. And thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't yet, subscribe. <laughs> thank you.